participants uh, ang pasok sa loob natin. <coughs> Naka Facebook live din po tayo. Naka Facebook live din po tayo. Ay nawala. We are also live on Facebook and uh, we expect more participants joining in and viewing us. Isang magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat, mga kasamahan dito sa UPLB, fellow UPLB alumni, and I would like to give a special welcome to all Batch 70 members whom I have required to join this webinar. But before anything else, gusto kong bumati at magpasalamat sa ating featured speaker, Secretary Dar, Sir, thank you po for accepting our invitation and for uh, taking the time to join us and link up with your academic ng mga alumni na ngayon po ay sumusubaybay at naghihintay ng inyong message. Kami pong mga fellow alumni ninyo ay kasama ninyo sa inyong pagmamalak sa magandang image ninyo ng Department of at sa mga innovative paradigms na inyong pinatutupad. Congratulations din po, Mr. Secretary, sa pagkakapili sa inyo as 2020 UPLBAA Presidential Award. You truly deserve the award. Ladies and gentlemen out there, sa lahat po na sumusubaybay sa webinar na ito, we will be joined by four well-known personalities who serve as panelists and reactors. Lahat po sila ay proud alumni ng UPLB. Unahin ko po si Dr. Jose Camacho Jr. Currently Dean of Graduate Studies. On November 1st, he will begin his task as the 10th Chancellor of UPLB. Dean Camacho, sir, congratulations po. Dr. Levi Cabanilla, former Dean of College of Economics and Management. It was during his term that College of Economics and Management, or SEM, became a shining jewel in the UPLB family. Our third panelist is Engineer Arnel de Mesa, the young and energetic Regional Executive Director for Calabarzon and Department of Agriculture. He's a Pusyang alumnus ng Sayat, and his college has chosen him as one of his outstanding graduates. UPLB is under his territorial jurisdiction, and we hope that under his uh, the, the term of Chancellor Camacho, more collaborative undertakings will take place. Our fourth reactor is uh, Dr. Libertado Cruz. Yes. He is one of us in Bat 70. We are proud to have him in the group. We share his pride in bringing the Philippine Carbon Center to what it is now. He spent the whole of his professional life in making the PCC one of the best attached agencies of the A. So iyan po sa hapong ito, mga giliw namin nanonood at nakikinig sa ating webinar ang pangpupuo sa ating pagtalakay sa mga didiscuss sa atin ng ating mahal na kalihim ng kagawaran ng pagsasaka. Inaasahan po namin na sa hapong ito, muli nating uh, tatalakayin 
kung paano tayo mga alumni ng UPLB ay muli magkakabuklod, magkakaisa tungo sa isang pangunahing layunin ang maipakita natin sa lahat na tayong mga graduates ng UPLB ay instrumental sa pagunlad ng ating bansa. So Mr. Secretary, Secretary William D. Dar, malukod po namin kayong tinatanggap sa webinar na ito at muli po, maraming salamat po sa inyong pagbibigyan ng inyong panahon para makapagsiwalat ng inyong mga ideas, ng inyong mga iniisip sa mga UPLB na sa ngayon po ay nakikinig sa ating webinar. Sir Secretary, you have the floor, sir. Okay. Uh, maraming salamat po, Dr. Resti Culiado, the chair of... Uh, I understand the jubilarians uh, who is uh, overall chair of the uh, UPLB Alumni Association to all the distinguished ladies and gentlemen and colleagues of our alma mater, the University of the Philippines, Los Banos. Pagandang hapon po sa ating lahat on behalf of the Department of Agriculture we heartily congratulate the incoming Chancellor, Dr. Jose Camacho Jr. We hope that under his leadership, UPLB will be energized and will be more forward looking and innovative as we respond to the needs of the times. May the new UPLB regain back its stature excellence and relevance in and rural development, including that of agricultural research for development. I also extend my gratitude and congratulations to the UPLB alumni who continue to work tirelessly to boost national food security amid the COVID-19 pandemic by serving a source of knowledge and expertise to empower our farmers, fishers, and agribusiness entrepreneurs. At this point, I would like to pay homage to some illustrious UPLB alumni who have shown extraordinary leadership and scientific rigor not only in the academe, but in the agriculture sector in the Philippines society. National scientist, Dr. Emil Javier, whose intellect, experience, and prolific studies remain a major source of guidance for the department. National scientist, Dr. Ricardo Lantican, to whom we owe the development of various legion varieties across Asia. National scientist, Dr. Dolores Ramirez, and her legacy of research in genetics, plant breeding, and biotechnology. Dr. Berna Fernando Bernardo, who led the way in instilling agriculture in our uh, country and Dr. Santiago Arobien, who trailblazed and was the first director of the DA Philippine Rice Research Institute. Let me mention that, yes, the list of accomplished UPLB alumni is long, and I am afraid this speech might not do justice to the number of luminaries produced by this university. It is with humility and utmost esteem that I invoke such names and role models for the younger generations in my appeal to the university to fight hunger and pull the youth towards growth alongside us in the Department of Agriculture. We firmly believe that agriculture will lead us to economic recovery.
faculty and students. I then invite the UPLB community to join us in our pursuit of our plan, plan, plan program and our new thinking for Philippine agriculture. UPLB has always been one of the bar's strong partner in agriculture and fisheries research for development and have invested with UPLB amounting to more or less 950 million pesos from 2000 to 2020. BAR has supported more than 200 projects in Los Banos. While we are confronting the huge challenges of hunger and food insecurity amid pandemic, we have not taken our eyes off our long-term goal to, sus to sustainable, strong, and resilient food systems through forward-looking reforms and innovative approaches in both crisis and non-crisis situations. In this regard, we are rallying UPLB and other higher institutions toward forward-looking and innovative researches that respond to the most debilitating agricultural issues and our economic growth target. For UPLB alone, we have committed around a total of 477 million pesos from the DA's budget from uh, or for 2021 and has a total number of 62 projects uh, this year. Now, through the DA bar, we have partnered with the UPLB in promoting the edible landscaping technology and we hope to continue to really upscale all other relevant technologies good for enhancing productivity in the countryside. Now, another challenge would be for UPLB to continuously develop the human capital needed by this country to lead in the transformation of Philippine agriculture to a very modern and industrializing agriculture. The budget for agriculture approved under the Bayanihan II, recovered as one law passed by Congress, makes room for significant research and development grants to higher institutions and research centers in various locations. We are also fighting for a more substantial budget for 2021 to underwrite more knowledge production and technology-based farming solutions. We are then reaching out to the youth and great minds of the University of the Philippines, Los Banos, to pursue more agricultural research. We are also asking the UPLB alumni to take this opportunity today to get engaged and get engaged in agri-industrializing the sector. We need you to set up more agri-based rural industries, and this will give us more support to the farming and fishing sectors, but also to the agribusiness community. The Department of Agriculture has set aside 100 million pesos for the university's research and development under the College of Agriculture and Food Science. 50 million pesos for the Crop Protection uh, Center of the, of the Philippines, or National Crop Protection Center of the Philippines, 30 million pesos for the Institute of Land Breeding, and uh, 20 million for seedling production, seed and seedling production. On top of this, I would challenge the incoming Chancellor, Dr. Dong Camacho Jr. to organize upon 
reporting I mean, um, upon assumption of duty, a center that is going to harness the power of satellite aided agricultural technology, including that of digital agriculture. To simplify things, I would call that satellite aided and digital agriculture center where UPLB can take the lead in a network fashion with other higher educational and research institutions. Along with the efforts of other agricultural educational institutions, UPLB's studies will help us defeat all army worm, infestation, posarium wilt in bananas, the curicum in mango, and other plant diseases, and ultimately hunger and poverty. I, will, I wish UPLB to be the trailblazer in harnessing the power of disruptive technologies to elevate Philippine agriculture in the future. I urge you, my fellow alumni, to add another greater dimension to your work in improving the agriculture sector, and that is to discard the old inefficient practices one after another and begin adapting the new thinking, a new vision where a modernized, industrialized, and globally competitive Philippine agriculture sector enables farmers to produce decently for their country and for their families. Again, I thank you for the privilege of the floor and thank you for the honor that will be bestowed on me on October 10, 2020 by the UPLB Alumni Association and blessed are the golden jubilarians. Good afternoon at mabuhay po tayong lahat. message. I think you mentioned many things that excited the UPLB community, especially the looming closer partnership between UPLB and the Department of Agriculture. And so the first one that I will ask to react, I think uh, the Secretary mentioned something like the establishment of a satellite digital center here in UPLB. I will ask the incoming chancellor to respond to that and um, give us his thinking on how we can expedite all these good plans in the future. Dr. Camacho. Thank you, uh, Secretary Dar. At uh, maray pong salamat sa inyong uh, uh, pagbati sa malalapit na loyalty day ng uh, UPLB at maray pong salamat sa inyong uh, patuloy na suporta uh, uh, sa UPLB. I appreciate your support, your unending support to our university. And uh, in fact, in our uh, talks uh, with you, you have uh, detailed, uh, you, you detailed uh, to us, how can we better uh, harness the partnership uh, between UPLB and the uh, Department of uh, Agriculture? And uh, this afternoon, uh, this afternoon's uh, talks uh, uh, highlights the uh, role of uh, alumni in harnessing the role of uh, UPLB for agricultural uh, modernization. Indeed, uh, sir, uh, the, the initiatives that you proposed are central to our vision in uh, future-proofing UPLB and in assisting uh, to future-proof uh, the agricultural sector. The proposed uh, initiative to establish a center for uh, digital uh, agriculture is indeed part and parcel of our vision. 
and uh, we will be very, very supportive of this initiative. We have already uh, initiated uh, uh, meetings and talks with our uh, incoming uh, uh, vice chancellors and members of the management committee to outline uh, to outline uh, support uh, systems and mechanisms to uh, harness this uh, partnership between uh, UPLB and uh, the Department of uh, Agriculture. We will be very, very supportive of this initiative, sir. And thank you for uh, the trust that you have given us. At uh, maray pong salamat sa inyong uh, suporta, sa, uh, sa inyong uh, uh, secretary. Um, welcome, Don. Incoming Chancellor, Don. Uh, the whole community is listening, and I hope that uh, you can really make a difference in the way you will manage and expedite the execution of all these promising projects. I would like to get the reaction from uh, one of our uh, luminaries here. During his term, Sam became a well-known college. So, Dean Cabanilla, can you react to the speech of our secretary and give us your thoughts on how we could be more, um, more effective in partnering with the Department of Agriculture as we move on forward. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Collado, and uh, congratulations to the very inspiring speech of uh, the uh, beloved Secretary of Agriculture, uh, Dr. Dar. Uh, he has uh, pointed out several uh, very interesting uh, parameters that uh, will mark the partnership between UPLB and uh, the Department for Agriculture. But let me dwell very specifically on the role of the alumni in this effort of uh, promoting uh, agriculture and rural development in this country. The alumni is always there. They will always uh, be supportive uh, the institution uh, will, will still be there for the long term to come. Uh, but let me be very specific about how I think the alumni can be useful in uh, promoting our mission of uh, developing agriculture and the rural areas. Uh, I'm one of the uh, ardent believers that the alumni uh, of the university are a group that will serve as vital lifeline of the university. And uh, that uh, thought has actually uh, led me to establish a foundation of the uh, College of Economics and Management, which we now call the College of Economics and Management Alumni Foundation, because uh, I think that uh, the alumni has a very strong uh, role to play in uh, promoting the mission of the university. Uh, we, also, we all know that uh, the UPLB spirit is so strong and uh, I uh, commend the secretary for mentioning the names of famous alumni who continue to provide assistance and guidance to the uh, university and even the Department of Agriculture along lines of agriculture and rural development. Right now, uh, I still feel the gap uh, in harnessing the uh, alumni in uh, promoting the mission of the university. Uh, if, if you listen carefully to what our alumni uh, keep on saying, there uh, is donor fatigue. Uh, kasi uh, yung mga alumni natin na uh, laging kinukulit uh, tuwing uh, merong homecoming, eh sabi nila, meron naman sigurong ibang paraan para kami ay maramdaman namin na kami partner sa uh, mission ng uh, university. And that's why uh, I'm toying with the idea of uh, establishing what I call UPLB Alumni Brigades 
for agriculture and rural development. Uh, marami tayong mga key persons uh, dyan sa rural areas na exposed na sa, sa issues. Nandyan na si Dr. Lib Cruz. Oh. Uh, nakikita ko na uh, umingiti siya kasi all his life he has devoted uh, his time and effort in uh, promoting agriculture and rural development. I think that uh, if we are able to harness uh, truly the uh, uh, collective effort of our alumni and make them feel that they are partners in promoting the mission of the uh, university, uh, it's a powerful uh, force that will uh, go a long way and far into the future uh, what we want to see happen. And that's agriculture and rural economic development. Kaya ko nga ho naisip yun eh, yung brigades, no? uh, UPLB alumni brigades for uh, agriculture and rural economic development. Kasi uh, uh, kung ma ma uh, ma-harness natin yan, uh, we, if we are able to uh, put them together, uh, I'm sure that uh, they will be uh, a very uh, helpful uh, uh, assistance in our uh, mission to promote agriculture and rural development. Uh, yun lang muna ang aking masasabi kasi uh, sa pag-iikot ko sa ibang uh, universities, yung alumni nila hindi lang source ng uh, donations eh. Uh, they are able to provide assistance even after they have they are gone uh, out of the university. Uh, I believe that uh, all alumni regardless of what they are now pursuing will be uh, will be able to provide a contribution to this theme, if if we if we call it uh, uh, agriculture and rural economic development, maski car dealer kajan, even if you are promoting your own self interest, I'm sure that you still have a role in that theme of agriculture and rural economic development. So, uh, ang trick dito, uh, Chancellor, uh, is to make our alumni feel that they are partners, true partners, in the promotion of the mission of the university. Uh, I think it's, it's the time of the social scientists, you being one of them, uh, should show to the rest that uh, we can effectively harness the uh, alumni in promoting the mission of the university. Thank you very much. Secretary, in one of our informal discussions, we tinkered with the idea of creating a trilogy. You know, there is UPLB, there is the DA, and there is the alumni group. Yes, yes. How would you like uh, to uh, expound on that? And uh, how, in, please guide us in what way we can expedite this idea and make it workable so that we alumni, the UPLB under Dr. Camacho and the DA under your leadership can work as a triangle, a trilogy that we will be synergistic with each other. Ano po ang paligay ninyo, Mr. Secretary, dito? I, I see some... Uh merit to this uh, triangulation or or uh, convergence uh, but it has to be more directed towards uh, enhancing the uh, agricultural development efforts the agribusiness development efforts in the countryside uh, you know i have touch base for example with the PCCI uh, Human Resource Development uh, Foundation for them to uh, train more farm managers, agribusiness managers. Yung involved dun sa mga farm consolidation and clustering. And uh, we feel it is necessary to build up that cadre 
of human capital, be it young and old. And we need a mix of that because we need to now enhance the transformation of you know, agriculture, not only to be just mere producers, but also now to go anchored on a value chain system. And so inclusive agribusiness is the way forward. That's why I have, there are individual or collective efforts that can be pursued. It all brigade could be one, but uh, let, let's be more focused to, to what areas. And individually or even in groups, I pwedeng magnegosyo na ng mga alumni. Eh, kailangan, mas kailangan na ngayon, mas maraming ma-involve sa negosyo kaysa yung advisory. Advisory is one good thing. But when the alumni are already rich, kagaya ni Levi Cabanilla at uh, iba't iba pa si Lib Cruz, ay magnegosyo na. At uh, you, you have the wisdom, you have the experience, and you have now the money even to invest in medium to big enterprises. So ganun pong pananaw natin. Big po, Mr. Secretary, I think... Uh... You hit the nail right on the head pag nasinabi niyong agribusiness is the way. Uh, lampas na po tayo doon sa pagbibigay ng mere advice but no follow-up concrete action. Uh, Red uh, Arnel, uh, in Calabarzon, this is an area that is very rich in opportunities both in human development efforts and in crystallizing the business community into action. Nandiyan po ang Cavite, Laguna, Batangas. Isa po, tatlo po sa mayayamang lalawigan ng ating bansa. Ano po ang programa ng Radio 4 dito? Uh, magandang hapon po. Good afternoon po sa ating lahat. Uh, Unang-una po sa ating uh, magiting na kalihim, Secretary William Dar who also happens to be a recipient now of the Asia CEO Awards. Congratulations, uh, Mr. Secretary. He is our guide and mentor dito po sa Agriculture Department. Uh, sa lahat po ng kasama natin dito na panelists, I am uh, in deep honor. It is a great privilege and honor to be with uh, you, uh, great luminaries of our dear university. Uh, Unang-una po ay gusto kong sabihin na uh, dito po sa Calabarzon, uh, under my leadership ay meron na po tayong ilang existing partnership with the university. Nagkaroon po tayo ng uh, coordination with Project Sarai uh, to provide us a smarter uh, climatic and weather advisories. And then we had also engagement with the College of Engineering to study yung aming pong irrigation uh, aspects dito po sa buong region. And then we had uh, an engagement also with the College of Economics and Management to study the logistics and market demand ng uh, aming pong products. At maganda po yung naging resulta nun dahil nakita po namin kung saan talaga nagagaling ang mga produkto at uh, volume which we are still using up to now as part ng aming uh, uh, policy advocacies. So ngayon po ang Region 4A po ay kilala bilang isang livestock at uh, high value commercial crops. At malaking bagay po uh, kagaya ng nabanggit na kanina I would like to take this opportunity na ang ating pong university will uh, be partnering not only with the DA Central Office. The Secretary has mentioned earlier uh, numerous uh, projects that will be undertaken uh, battery po sa ating uh, papasok na Chancellor, si Dean Camacho. Uh, kami po sa Region 4A ay marami pong ginagawa ngayon. We are working with uh, fellow alumni also with uh, Dean Ray Lantin, kay Mr. Pablito Villegas on several projects po sa university. So, uh, ina-expect po namin na makakatulong ang university lalo na po sa paglaban namin sa African Swine Fever. Uh, matandaan po natin na uh, it started with uh, Rizal, uh, Sir Rodriguez, Montalban. And uh, we had little successes over the control of the ASF uh, 
pero mas marami pa pong laban na tayong kakaharapin. At dumating pa nga po yung pagsubok. We had the Taal Volcano eruption and we need the help of the university for us to uh, cope dito po sa losses because of the Taal Volcano eruption. At uh, the fall armyworm is still creeping sa ating pong corn industry. At uh, the secretary has mentioned that the university was very instrumental in uh, battling previous uh, pests and diseases. And uh, we are very much hopeful dahil nga po ang Calabarzon is known as uh, livestock region. We're number one in egg, number two in hog and, and uh, poultry uh, broiler. So uh, hopefully there will be stronger cooperation between the region and the university uh, in this aspect. Uh, Doc Coliado, maraming salamat po. Maganda ka. Thank you, Red, Arnel. Uh, Dr. Camacho, you heard the secretary, you heard the regional director. Both of them are saying that uh, there are opportunities for UPLB to be proactive and reactive. Uh, you will remember that in one of our informal sessions with the secretary, he mentioned, I think it was with the College of Agriculture, by the way, sorry, that uh, UPLB seemed to be slow in responding to the needs of the times. Halimbawa, sumabog ang swine fever. Sumabog ang problema sa manok. But he did not see the College of Vet Med come up with proposed solution. I think what the Secretary meant during our informal discussion at the time was that dapat ang UPLB mayroong SWAT team. Na pagkaroon may nagkaroon ng crisis, mayroong kang grupo na magre-respond kagad to show that we are one with the department in responding to the problem at hand. Um, and also, the secretary said, mentioned and focused on agribusiness. Agri-entrepreneurship, I guess, is very important. And then also, how can we electrify the College of Agriculture and Food Science? These are issues that are now being put on the table, and you as the incoming chancellor, how do you intend to respond to this? That's it, uh, Dr. Camacho. Uh, uh, tama po yan, uh, Dr. Culiado, ang, ang ating pong, uh, presence sa, sa mga issues, sa mga challenges at na, na, nararamdaman natin at uh, na-encounter, lalong-lalo na sa larangan ng agrikultura, Ang ating uh, presensya seem to be have waned uh, uh, in the in in the in the uh, uh, past years. Uh, nakita po natin na uh, kailan po nating uh, paiktingin ang presensya ng uh, UPLB sa mga uh, mga uh, challenges uh, na ito. Kung ano ang magiging response natin? Na isko po na ilatag na nagkakaroon po tayo ng mga pag-uusap at mga meetings na banggit ko kanina sa ating mga incoming uh, uh, management committees, vice chancellors, na mas paigtingin po natin ng presensya sa pamamagitan po ng pagkakaroon ng mga uh, technical working groups uh, for each in areas of the uh, value chain. And in fact, uh, there could be even... Uh, uh, policy uh, groups in aid or assistance to to assist uh, each uh, each uh, part and parcel of this uh, value chain uh, group. Para po mas uh, quick po yung response. Ang nice po sana natin ay tayo po yung nagiging mas proactive uh, sa ating uh, pananaw uh, sa pagrespond sa mga challenges na ito. Uh, nandiyan po dapat yung ating uh, quick response. Nandiyan na tayo yung nag-offer ng, ng forecast kapag sinabi nating may, may, may surplus or may shortage. This is backed up by evidence-based uh, uh, 
uh, policy uh, uh, information. Nandyan po dapat ang mga data. At alam nyo naman, kapag may mga data, nandyan po ang mga expertise, mas madali nating matugunan ang mga pangangailangan o yung mga challenges ng ating agricultural uh, sector. At uh, nais ko po sanang uh, ipapatid sa inyo na, na i-revive po natin yung uh, naging role ng uh, UPLB sa, for instance, nung, nung panahon, nung mga nakarang uh, dekada, nandyan po yung agenda for the agricultural uh, sector uh, group. Uh, na naging uh, yung, yung, yung kanilang uh, contribution sa agricultural policy reforms ay naging maikting at ito ay naging consider, uh, reconsider ito ng uh, Department of Agriculture. So, i-revive po natin uh, ito, sir, at uh, uh, katuwang niyo po ang UPLB sa uh, pagkakaroon ng mas maikting na pag-response na sa mga challenges ng agricultural uh, uh, sector. May pong salamat, uh, Dr. Culeado. Uh, going back to our theme this afternoon, title po ng speech ng ating secretary, How to Harness the Alumni. Dr. Cruz, isa po kayo sa pinakamatagal na naglingkod sa Department of Agriculture. Dumating at umalis po kami ng secretary dyan, nandiyan pa rin po kayo. Ngayon po. <laughs> yes. Uh, Ang, ang, ang PCC po ay is a microcosm of the different agencies and field units ng DA na siya nagbibigay ng kabuuan sa Department of Agriculture. Alam ko na naranasan ninyo ang mga problema at na nagkaroon din kayo ng pagkakataon na lutasin yung mga problema ngayon. Ano po ang magagawa ng mga alumni? Kasi po nagkalat ang ating mga regional offices ang ating po mga agencies ay may branches all over the country. Ano po ang gagawa ng alumni para po lalo nang maramdaman na ang UPLB pala in the, in the form of alumni ay may papel na dapat kampanan at para maging kaisa ng Department of Agriculture sa pag-unlad ng ating agrikultura, ng ating kabuhayan at ng ating food security. Well, Thank you sa opportunity to be part of this interaction. Uh, gusto ko pong batiin kauna-unahan ng ating Secretary William Dar. Marami po siyang uh, awards na natanggap lately. At uh, nagpapasalamat din po ako dahil nagbigay siya ng pagkakataon na ilatag ang mga programa ng department. Katulong po ang University of the Philippines at Los Baños. Salamat din po sa pangunguna ni Dr. Reyes Ticoliado, my compadre, for leading the batch 70 sapagkat uh, meron po kaming mga projects na nagawa na nagawa sa napakadaling panahon sa outstanding leadership Coliado. Ang tanong po ni Dr. Coliado is paano po natin mapapaigting ang uh, role ng uh, alumni sa pagpapaunlad ng ating agrikultura particularly. Well, sa ngayon po na panahon ng COVID, siguro ang bigay sa atin ng COVID is a wake-up call. At kung titinan po natin at the, whole, at, at, at the deeper analysis, Sabi nga po ni Secretary Dar, yung COVID po is only telling us some, something that is obvious. And the obvious thing is the issue of food security and of course, poverty and sustainability. Marami pong magandang programa na sinabi ang ating Secretary at maganda po ang pakikipagtulungan ng UPLB at saka ng Department of Agriculture, which is really outstanding. Um, gusto ko po munang talakayin, and I would like to focus on the issue of the human resource development that Secretary raised, uh, and I think uh, related to UPLB. Para pong napansin natin ngayon of late, 
that there is really a need to invest on human resource development. While we are trying our efforts to improve, we are witness to the fact that our neighbors have overtaken us. And the reason is that uh, a major component of the progress is related to our inability to sustain our human resource development as we have done in the years past. Gusto ko pong talakayin yun because everything that we develop and we do is, for example, based on human resource capability. Uh, tungkol po sa issue na tinanong ni, ni Dr. Colliado, paano natin mapapagting ang participation ng ating mga alumni? Sabi ko nga sa inyo, I, I've seen a small project led by Dr. Colliado, a collective effort that resulted to something outstanding as we celebrate the loyalty day dahil kami po ay jubilarian. But the, I think the simple project is is a demonstration of how a collective effort can be done. Ang maganda po ngayon sa ating situation is that we are faced with so much challenges in a new era where we do not need, for example, to go to the typewriter to make reports and thesis because we have the computer. We do not have to really go to the RCPI and send telegrams because we have now our cell phones. In fact, we are now in an area where we can communicate and be closer to each other. What the program and what the project that Dr. Colliado initiated is our collective efforts to be closer by, for example, putting together our current address, our current email our current interest and all those things together if we can only put efforts to come up with a database of UPLB alumni and they are a huge number update the current addresses and contact numbers we are bringing together a huge human resource that we can use in, in our efforts to make some important innovations in, in agriculture. Gusto ko po yung sinasabi ni Secretary Dar that our alumni has to graduate, most of us, from just advising, but into actual agribusiness. Um, ang isa pong uh, napansin ko sa ating uh, mga alumni is that they are, are everywhere. They are in legislation, they are in, in policy making, they are in administration, they are in research, they are in extension. Actually, they are in all aspects of our society. So bottom line is that in one way or another, directly or indirectly, our alumni are part of the efforts to address our food security issue. And of course, part of addressing the, the disruption that COVID has done to us. But for example, if as, as a group, as pointed out by Dr. Colliado, we can form a collective efforts to uh, launch, for example, a, a platform where we can link with DA. An example to me that is going to be very helpful is alumni and, and, and DA can put together a platform where alumni can generate the data from where they are on commodities, on availability, on price, on quantity, wherever, real time. And, and maybe there is a system where, whereby the, the, the DA can translate this huge information into simple information available to everyone. Alumni are everywhere. They can generate and submit information of importance to our programs. And I think that is one of the examples by which collectively we can have a, a contributions that is tangible 
it's important that probably farmers will know who are the buyers and they can negotiate the price. Or the seller or the buyers would like to know a commodity, where is it? At what price, at what quantity in real time? And I think that, that such an example can be a collective efforts of the alumni. There are many, many examples, but um, this, this kind of uh, collaborative efforts to me is, is going to be very important. To the secretary, uh, I think um, Dr. Colliado talked about the PCC and my long stay in PCC. Based on my ex experience, what is important is continuity of programs that, that provided me an opportunity to carry on a program that requires time. Uh, perhaps the secretary can um, suggest on how programs in the, in, the, in, the, in the department or maybe in the country can have a sense of stability and continuity, even with changes of secretaries. Because during my stay in the department, I probably had encountered no less than 12 or 14 secretaries. And there seems to be at some point uh, changes in the focus and continuity of programs. Um, uh, also, I, um, I also have uh, suggestions that probably uh, we have to strengthen, of course, with UPLB and other entities, our research and ability to formulate policies, long-term policies that have long implications on agriculture and in the overall economy. I remember in the past, there was a, a Bureau of Agriculture Economics. And I believe that several outputs of the team are policy recommendations that have very long implications in agriculture. Thank you, Paul, Dr. Adel Bruce. Uh, you mentioned a lot of things that uh, I think deserve to be given more focus. Uh, I like the one that uh, uh, centralizing information. I think this is one thing that is uh, lacking in the whole thing. How do you unify now the different players? With, with UPLB as the nexus, Dr. Camacho, I think it is a challenge that the first thing we should do is, why don't we have a centralized registry of our graduates? Huh? with their contact addresses, so that anybody who would like to go into business or who would like to interact with each other, all they have to do is go to UPLB and we have a centralized data here, which they can access. Okay. That's one. The other thing that uh, Dr. Cruz uh, mentioned is the upgrading of human resources. I cannot agree more because I think that is one thing that uh, is lacking in the overall planning of the different uh, programs that we have in mind. On this regard, uh, Mr. Secretary, how can the DA help UPLB in upgrading the skills and the educational attainment of our faculty? I am a firm believer that the students can only be as good as, good, uh, as, good as the faculty. And I believe that right now, we have an inbreeding of knowledge because seldom do we have faculty members set abroad for a graduate training and uh, graduate degrees. How can the DA help us here in UPLP? Mr. Secretary? I think the secretary didn't hear him. Uh, yeah. The, the 
you know, uh, we have been, we, we have to accelerate agriculture 1.0 to 4.0. Uh, so that, that transformation from 1.0 to 4.0 is one important uh, uh, way with which we can, uh, in, you know, the university has to take an active role in educating our people for us to really accelerate this transformation. Uh, otherwise, uh, mas mahirap pa sa mga ating mga magsasaka, although we can also do uh, uh, involve yung uh, mga mga pamilya nila, yung mga anak-anak nila para mas mabilis yung uh, transformation process. So we, this is one area I, I really have asked the incoming chancellor to look at uh, every step of the way so that we can uh, use the power of digital agriculture to really uh, impact into the new agriculture that is modern, that is industrializing, things that can uh, give more income at the end of the day for the farmers and the fisher folks. Salamat po, Mr. Secretary. Uh, I will go back to that question now. May may tutulong po ba ang Department of Agriculture para po yung mga faculty members natin dito sa UPLP and also the students in terms of financing the thesis ay mapadali po at magkaroon po ng uh, uh, pagbabago. How can we uh, upgrade the learning experience of our faculty members and our researchers? with possible financial assistance from DA. Marami tayong pera for the scholarship, so that's one good uh, development. We have enough scholarship money in ATI, in NDA bar, and in CHED. So, uh, hindi masyado nagagasta yung scholarship. That wa that, that's one way to encourage more younger generation to get to digital agriculture as a course. And for faculty, dun nga sa research center na established ng UPLB, that's where uh, research of the faculty can be supported in many ways. Thank you, Paul. That is very encouraging. And I hope that uh, uh, incoming Chancellor uh, Don Camacho is uh, uh, beginning to think now on how more we can integrate our UPLB with the alumni and with the DA. Our time is running short. And uh, may I ask now the secretary to please uh, give us his parting message that we... Una uh, una, uh, let me again thank you uh, Resty, for all your uh, initiatives in uh, this uh, uh, honor that has been bestowed on uh, the 10th of October, getting the Presidential uh, Leadership Award. I, uh, yun po ay nagbibigay sa akin ngayon na uh, a renewed sense of being an alumnus of UPLB to really help while here and see to it that we restore the partnership that has been there in the past. Like uh, we, we need every step of the way, the expertise, the uh, experience of UPLB in dealing big issues and uh, big challenges, including policies, support. Kagaya ngayon sa RTL, uh, wala man lang kami makita na suporta or even uh, whether or not uh, the RTL uh, uh, will be a very, uh, you know, impact oriented in terms of helping the farmers really becoming competitive. And now uh, 
uh, we are uh, challenged every step of the way. Mas maganda sana mayroon rin na uh, uh, policy statements ng mga uh, higher educational institutions kagaya ng UPLB para uh, they, they have to stake their position on key policy issues, on key developments, on key problems of the country. That's where university should really uh, also, uh, you know, have to be involved in many ways. Now, uh, with the banner programs that we have with the department, we hope that uh, mayroon isang expertise na galing UPLB na nakaupo dito sa mga iba't ibang technical working groups sa banner programs at continuously linking the university to the uh, national banner programs of the Department of Agriculture. So, uh, pag nakaupo na si Dong, ay mag tayo and maybe we can uh, give some uh, help, some uh, funding for uh, this team of experts from UPLB to come regularly here and, uh, you know, uh, help us in many ways. And the time engaged by these uh, experts should be counted as part of their load as well, uh, on top of what can be given kung mayroon man incentives. So let's resurrect all those uh, partnerships that uh, the DA with UPLB, with UPLB uh, have had and seeing to it that uh, you, uh, the, that UPLB is not only an excellent inst higher educational institution, but as well relevant uh, to the needs of the times. So congratulations to, uh, uh, again, the incoming chancellor of UPLB uh, and also to the panel uh, uh, today, uh, Dr. Libby Cabanilla, Dr. Lib Cruz, Engineer Arnold de Mesa, and of course the uh, chairmanship of uh, Dr. Westy uh, Culliado. Uh, marami pong salamat po sa ating lahat. Okay, I think uh, my peer and the ladies here are uh, signaling me that it is now Q&A time. So, so kasi naman po ang gusto lang magtanong, just raise your hand. Okay. Are there uh, external audience who would like to pitch? Okay. You, so... Anyone among the panelists would like to say more? Uh, I understand the uh, no. With regards to the Sinabi ni Secretary na dapat talaga magkaroon ng closer interaction ang UPLB at ang DA. I remember that at one time the Secretary asked for a space in UPLB so that he can be the one to uh, come here and interact with the UPLB scientific community. Uh, are we prepared to receive him here, uh, Dr. Camacho? Uh, yes, uh, Dr. Colliado, that is a commitment that we, uh, we, uh, uh, pinarating po namin yan kay uh, Secretary, we, we raised this so that we will have a closer engagement uh, with the Secretary and the Department of Agriculture. Ang isang inisip ko nga po sana, isang uh, umarapatin sana ni Secretary, eh, isang satellite office dito sa UPLB para talagang mas mapaigting po ang ating uh, partnership. Uh, Dr. Culliado, napakahalaga po nung uh, hapong ito sa ating uh, uh, incoming uh, leadership sa UPLB sapagkat this inform us uh, uh, a framework for partnership for global engage or engagement and uh, reputation of building uh, together with our uh, our uh, steam uh, to our alumni it, it is uh, will uh, inform us uh, a, a serious uh, revisiting of our framework for partnership with our alumni and with our uh, with uh, the Department of Agriculture, I 
still believe that uh, you oh. failed the national university as a public service uh, university must uh, really assert uh, itself uh, in this task of uh, nation building to be relevant, uh, particularly pushing uh, these initiatives uh, uh, of the Department of Agriculture towards the uh, attainment of agriculture uh, 4.0. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Kulian. I think uh, the time is uh, asking, Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, gusto ko uh, i-open up kay Dong yung problema ng PILRISE at saka PCC sa UPLB. Uh, with all the with all the uh, research grants that we are giving UPLB, lately my decision ang uh, board of trust board of regents ng university system uh, parang the uh, pilrise and pcc commercial commercial uh, commercial institutions so they are asking the uh, research uh, to uh, pay heavily on grants now I think we have to study this carefully because uh, what do you need, uh, grants or rents? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nineteen hundred to come. Ipinyo sabi na, Mr. Secretary. Sorry po. Okay. Hindi na siguro Chancellor Dong, Chancellor Camacho, ang dapat nating pagtulong ng pansin, pagkapung pagkapuning yon. Let us give the secretary a place here, something like a, a satellite office for the secretary, so that any time that he feels like relaxing, he can come to you, PLP. The talented uh, academics here in UPLB. Uh, I understand that uh, the new building that you are uh, putting up can be a, a promising place or, Mr. Secretary, if you are amenable to the idea, I think uh, there is a one house that can be uh, repeated and can be made your office and a relaxing place whenever you are free. Am I correct, uh, Dr. Camacho? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, we have uh, scouted uh, possible uh, uh, venues or, or, or offices or location where uh, 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 this can serve as a, a place for engagement. I refer to the uh, to the uh, uh, concerns of uh, our honorable secretary. Uh, I believe uh, ang malaking role nito sir yung uh, communication and uh, kailan po talaga maparating natin kung ano ba talaga ang uh, role ng bawat isa sa atin uh, ng UPLB at ng Department of Agriculture. It's not just simply as uh, paying rent. It's not just simply as uh, you know uh, 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 totaling all the the the, the the financial or funding uh, assistance of uh, Department of Agriculture. We, we should really look at this in the overall context of, of, of national development uh, uh, initiatives. I, I believe uh, we can uh, reconsider all those, uh, those uh, views by Secretary uh, as we, as we uh, assume office and uh, you know, we will raise this with, uh, with the Board of Regents. Very well said, uh, Dr. Camacho, and let's give it a go. Let's give Thank a second for the, the academic series in UPLB can really see him and uh, discuss important matters that probably uh, will redound to uh, more collaborative undertaking between the DA and uh, the UPLB. By the way, it's now Q&A session uh, time. We have here one uh, from Part 68 who would like to ask yeah. Mr. Hyde, are you online? Yeah, good afternoon, uh, especially to Secretary Dard. I have here a specific recommendation. 
you know, we used to have uh, uh, UPLB Association in Oriental Mindoro way back uh, 20 years or uh, 20 years ago. But you know, because of the ugly head of politics in the local government, this uh, uh, association, they miss. No? I would like to suggest, because there was the uh, uh, media release of Secretary Dar that he wants to develop the ancestral domain. No? So I was uh, thinking, I was playing with the idea that maybe to, to be able to revitalize, revitalize the UP alumni here in Oriental Mindoro, we would submit a proposal to the Honorable Secretary so that we would have a partnership with the Secretary and probably with UPLB and the Alumni Association in putting up a project for the benefit of our indigenous people, even with just a pilot area of, say, 50 hectares, and this would be the uh, holistic proposal. Thank you, for Mr. Uh, Jimmy Nevers. Nevers. Mr. Nevers, thank you, for Yes. We took, we took note of your uh, comment, sir, and uh, I think we will take it up in one of our discussions later on. Uh, the next uh, one to ask a question is uh, Dean Lansigan of Patsep 1975. Uh, in, Ino, are you in? Dr. Lansigan? Dr. Collado, gusto ko sanang matugunan yung uh, point nung uh, Tega Oriental Mindoro kasi very, very, that's, that's directly related to what I was proposing earlier. Uh, kasi kanina nabanggit ni uh, Dr. Cruz yung uh, uh, discipline uh, component ng alumni. No? Uh, but uh, let's uh, be aware that uh, there is a very important geographic uh, character of our alumni. They are found everywhere. And uh, they, they need to be uh, uh, harnessed. Ito na, ito na example na yan. Kaya nga, dun sa aking isa sa mga proposal kanina, we have to establish what I now call uh, UP. UPLB Alumni Brigade for Agriculture and Rural Economic Development. Uh, to, to actually uh, get the uh, participation of people like uh, this alum, alumnus from uh, Oriental Mindoro, and there are many, many more who are willing to help. Uh, so ang, ang, uh, the, I think the ball uh, is in the court of uh, UPLB, because uh, UPLB has to have uh, the uh, database for uh, all these uh, alumni and uh, uh, should be able to uh, effectively harness the participation of all our alumni, regardless of where they are. Kagaya nga nung kaibigan natin sa Oriental Mindoro, eto, meron pala silang naiisip na magandang programa, but uh, it, it's not uh, being, uh, uh, it's, doesn't come to a fruition because of uh, uh, lack of communication and uh, the sense of participation not being harnessed effectively by institutions like uh, UPLD. So, important uh, Okay, very, very important. I think one of the programs of the Chancellor in one of our informal discussions is the strengthening of the office alumni relation. Siguro po, we can make a, uh, we can establish one unit in the OAR that will receive these proponents, their proposals, and to uh, give them a sense of belonging. Pag nagpupunta sila dito sa UPLB o nagpapati sila na kahit ano, we will centralize it, ding dong, uh, probably this will be a good start for Dr. Eileen uh, that you can, uh, you can initiate. I think we need something like uh, you see, Asabi ni Dean Cabanilla. Yes, uh, that's highly considered, uh, Dr. Collado. Uh, Dr. Cabanilla has uh, submitted this proposal, and uh, this is uh, well considered. And uh, for the next uh, alumni director for, uh, for to 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 pursue this uh, uh, initiative. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, our last uh, question. 
Pwede na ba ako? Uh, Mr. Milo Flores. Uh, pwede na ba ako? Ah, okay. Dean, come in. Okay, uh, magandang uh, hapon sa ating lahat, uh, lalo na kay Secretary William Yamdar. Uh, nagustuhan ko yung iyong mukahi na let's engage our alumni sa mga entrepreneurial activities. At uh, nais ko sanang ibahagi din yung kagaya na nabanggit kanina na marami tayong very active alum alumni associations sa regions. And I think we need to harness uh, that particular activeness of that particular associations to help empower our uh, rural communities uh, through technical assistance to local community projects. Uh, yung volunteer service, marami pong gumagawa niyan sa ating mga regional uh, groups, including also yung startup entrepreneurial activities. So I hope uh, UPLB and the DA can uh, establish that triumvirate, yung binabanggit kanina ni Dr. Rusty Culliado, na ang uh, ikatatlong bahagi noon ay yung ating regional alumni. And hopefully, uh, kahit na magbago-bago ang uh, pamanuan leadership sa DA, yung triumvirate na yun will still be working closely together to assist our local communities. Maraming okay. salamat. Thank you. Thank you, Dean Lasigan. Uh, we have also uh, another batch of uh, servity member, Mr. Neil Prokos. I mean, Nilo. Nilo, are you in, are you in the loop? Okay, mukhang we have lost uh, Mr. Nilo Flor Cruz. Uh, I would like now uh, Red uh, Adnel to give us an idea of how your region, how your region and uh, uh, UPLB can uh, work closer. I know that you have a lot of initiatives right now. You have a pipeline projects that uh, will involve UPLB or UPLB can be a, uh, can co contribute to the execution of your programs in Calabarzon. Uh, thank you, Pule, Dr. Coleado. Uh, we have lots of possible engagement with the university. Unang-una uh, po rito in relation to uh, our combating the uh, ASF, the fall army worm, and uh, our response to Taal Volcano. Uh, marami po tayong activities na nakaline up dito. And then, uh, yung pong isang malaking problema natin dito is uh, yung mababang paggamit ng mga technology. Alam po natin na malapit tayo sa UPLB. But in Batangas and in Cavite, there's still a lot of farmers uh, who are using uh, old uh, varieties, for example, of rice, and uh, hindi po masyadong nag implement ng mga makabagong teknolohiya. So, I would uh, recommend din po na talagang magkaroon ng masusing ugnayan ang, ang mga alumni kasi po ngayon, uh, ako personally, uh, medyo hindi ganon kalaki yung ating uh, relationship sa kanila. Uh, medyo uh, I would say na uh, yung nabanggit po kanina kung mas magiging proactive ang, ang university and the alumni in really talking with uh, the DA especially the regional field offices ay magiging mas mabuti po para sa atin para po mas malalim yung, yung ugnayan natin Salamat Thank you Thank you Secretary, go ahead, please. Uh, alam niyo, uh, I, I know that UPLB Alumni Association, uh, may mga chapters all over the country, di ba? Maybe regional or provincial chapters. Uh, to start, I will challenge the alumni leaders in every region at least to initially submit a project to the regional field office ng DA uh, na related dun sa ba, mga big banner programs natin sa mga region or related dun sa mga challenges sa region. Uh, in that way, we can start this ball rolling uh, as soon as possible. Thank 
you go, Mr. Secretary. I think uh, if Pong Sinabi Ninyo will excite a big number of our UPLB alumni sapagkat ngayon lang po tayo sila nakarinig ng uh, invitation from the Secretary himself to get involved sa mga programa ng DA at the regional levels. Alam ko po na sila ay naghihintay lamang ng pagkakataong maging bahagi ng implementation ng programs ng uh, DA at ngayon nga po under your new paradigms, Mr. Secretary, alam ko po na sila ngayon ay magiging more active. Um, um, let me further mention, baliw na baliw kami sa <laughs> clustering. Ha? Baliw na baliw kami sa consolidation. And uh, how I wish the university would now, through the alumni, ay mayroon mga modelo na pwede nang uh, gawain sa uh, iba't ibang region. Kasi uh, alam ninyo nung budget hearing natin kagabi sa house, may nagtatanong bakit palagi ganito pa rin yung problema natin sa agrikultura na hindi makaangat-angat yung ating mga magsasaka, mababang ani, mababang kita. So dissecting this whole issue, Sabi po namin ay the problem is systemic, the problem is structural at uh, uh, the Philippine agricultural landscape, let me highlight ano yung mga challenges. Bakit ganun palagi yung problema hanggang ngayon ay nandyan? Number one, how can you link individually farmers to markets? If they are not part of a collective, if they are not part of an association or a, a cooperative. So that's one big challenge for Philippine agriculture. How can we have encouraged or how can we encourage more the farmers to really be, you know, that mindset of having to belong in a group na mas powerful yung leveraging pag grupo sila at may kooperatiba or asosasyon. Now, siguro pwedeng aralin ng UPLB bakit hindi successful ang cooperative movement sa bansa. Now, ako, hindi ako susuko doon sa palagi natin sinasabi na uh, hindi pwede ang collective action or uh, cooperative movement sa bansa. Why don't we fix it? Ano yung problema? Because I will still believe that collective action is the way forward, after which when the farmers are now fully organized, then we can connect them to big business because there is now economies of scale. Today, the land holdings are you know, very small, and that's one problem. There's no economies of scale. There's no good uh, industry to talk about. Kung hiwa-hiwalay lahat, so, uh, number two, once they are in a collective, once they are in a cooperative, yung pag-transfer ng modern technology is much better. They are not using modern technologies, thereby very low ang productivity natin ngayon. So, ang daming if we fix yung capital na lang, bakit yung mga magsasaka ngayon ay nasa clutches pa rin ng traders kulang ang kapital. And that's why in the future, ito yung isang tututukan ng Department of Agriculture na mas marami dapat kapital na available, na affordable para hindi nandun sa clutches ng mga big traders who dictate the price of commodities produced by the farmers at harvest. So lahat po ito, it should be properly uh, look at in a holistic manner what are the big challenges and we believe na uh, yung mga farming sector natin may edad na 60 years old average and that's why we need to further strengthen their capacities much more encourage the younger generation to come forward and get engaged in agriculture and to make them get engaged, we have to make agriculture a profitable venture. So, ganun po. Eh, kung ang 
regional chapter ng alumni ay ma magawa ng paraan ng isang modelo looking at all of these challenges, how I wish we can have all those models. Well said po, Mr. Secretary. Marami pong nagtitik daw ng mga sinabi ninyo dito. Nandito po ang mga incoming officials ng UPLB. At they are, I, I see them taking down notes sa mga sinasabi ninyo. Umaasa po kami na under your leadership and with your generous uh, support sa UPLB ay may kasatakto po rin po natin ang ating pagkakaisa ang sinasabi nga po natin na partnership between UPLB alumni at ang Department of Agriculture. So at this point, once more, I would like to thank uh, Mr. Secretary for your time. Marami po kaming natutuwa sa inyo. Marami po kaming narinig ng mga ideas na magagamit po ng uh, UPLB community para po maging effective partner sa mga programa po na ipinatutupad ng DA under your leadership. Gusto ko rin pasalamatan ang panel of uh, reactors uh, natin na uh, si incoming Chancellor uh, Jose Don Camacho, XG ng SEM si Dr. Levi Cabanilla, Red Region 4 Director, Executive Director Arnel De Mesa, at ang aming pong BAT 70 member, ang dating director ng uh, Philippine Carbo Center, Dr. Libertado Cruz. Sa inyo pong lahat na nakinig, sa inyo pong lahat na nakibahagi sa amin, sa aming paglalahat ng mga programa ng DA, UPLB, at ng alumni. Marami po salamat at sana po ay lalo pa nating mapatibay ang ating pong uh, pagkakaisa, pagtutulungan, at para po sa kaunuran ng ating UP UPLB at ng ating bayan. Salamat po, salamat po, salamat po. Mr. Secretary, thank you, thank you very much. Salamat. We, are proud of you. We are proud of you. Dapat na nakinig. Okay, uh... There is an uh, additional announcement here. There is a web, the last seminar, webinar will be held tomorrow. Um, the speaker is uh, an alumnus from Thailand, Dr. Wirapun Tongman. And he will talk about uh, alumni alliance from an international perspective. So welcome po kayo bukas at muli po sa araw na ito. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Thank you, Sir Levy. Thank you, Sir Dong. Asan pa si Sir Dong? Thank you, Sir. Okay. Thank you, Sir. Bye.